This is a perfect circle, but it's not a perfect loop. The marble enters the loop fast, then slows near the top as it fights gravity, then speeds back up at the end. This means that the marble puts more force on the bottom sections of the loop than at the top. A roller coaster loop is similar to the old trick of spinning a bucket of water upside down without spilling a drop. Not like that. Just like the marble staying on the track, the water stays inside the bucket. The water wants to continue forward, but pulling the bucket around the loop keeps the water inside. The bucket, like the marble, feels heavier at the bottom of the circular swing. If someone was riding in the bucket, they would also feel heavier at the bottom of the circular path. The secret to building a better loop lies in changing the track's path so that riders feel the same amount of heaviness the whole way around. When the car is going faster, make the curve more gradual. When the car is going slower, make the curve steeper. This gives the loop a teardrop shape. The marble now applies force to the track more evenly the whole way around. Compared to the circular loop, the teardrop loop shakes less and actually helps the marble go farther. That's how to build a better roller coaster loop.